All right, what is up guys? MP10 here. Welcome back to yet another video. Uh, we're in a different location. Uh, we're in my kitchen. Um, woo. Yeah, not entertaining. So I did this yesterday, but I didn't want to. So I'm going to make two videos today. First is going to basically be the whole fight card prediction. I just did one yesterday, but I felt like, nah, that's not entertaining. So I'm going to do a whole fight prediction today of KSI and Swarms and Luis uh, Pineda. Um, fight card, not all the predictions, but the ones that I care about realistically. Um, I'll have the rest of the predictions in the in the description. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first one, Deji versus Fuzi. The battle of the walking elves, Deji versus Fuzi. Honestly, it's very interesting. The winner of this fight will have their first win and will be undefeated in their professional bout. Who would have thought? Not me. And, um, if you ask me honestly who's going to win this fight, yesterday in the prediction I said um, Fuzi would win the fight. Um, I just, I don't know. Something just feels different with Deji. If you watch his press conferences, if you watched his um, boxing videos, his mentality, um, him admitting that he didn't prepare for the last couple fights, which, I mean, you're going to lose if you don't prepare for fights. Come on, man. Um, I believe that I just feel it. I've been disappointed in Deji in the three fights he's had. Well, the last two fights have been very disappointed. The Jake one, you know, he bruised up Jake the most in all of his fights and he still lost. Um, the Venny Hacker fight was an embarrassment. Didn't even prepare or train. And then the Wasabi fight, he didn't even throw a punch. It was ridiculous. So with this one... I don't know. I feel like he... There's something about it. He's going to win this fight. Now, now this is the, the crazy thing. It's three-round, three-minute fights. Very short, but very a little bit entertaining, too, because now it's just like quick go, 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 go. So with that being said, I have Deji winning this fight. <clears throat> I have him winning this fight. Round three... TKO. I'm putting it out there right now. I think he wins this fight round three TKO. Um, is his mentality changed? Now, it wouldn't surprise me if Fuzi won. This is a tough fight to predict because both of these fighters have flaws. Deji doesn't throw punches and doesn't prepare. Fuzi <laughs> walks into punches. He doesn't put his hands up. If you know what I, if you know what I mean, look at this. <laughs> From Slim Green, right and the left again, right and the left, left, right, left, right, left, right again, ladies and gentlemen. Slim has taken it to Fuzi here. And the sad thing about it, there's no defense whatsoever. No, no, I mean, the, aggr Fuzi. the aggression is clear to see in the other round. He's not lifting his hands, he's not. He's by, these guys, they've never boxed the public before. Again, if he wants to throw punches, wow! From Fuzi, he's still going about it the exact same way, throwing big haymakers. One, two, three, four, missing with several of them, yeah. and no defense. Absolutely. And he is up, of course, against Yusuf Arakat, known as Fuzi, and Al Bakhna, known as Slim. Exchanging heavy blows here, but no defense, no defense, no defense, Steve. Absolutely not. It's got to be, it's going to be stopped here, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be stopped. It's stopped, ladies and gentlemen. Has, now, you, you can't fight like this. No, I mean, the count it down. It... Faze versus Slim, a very interesting fight. The winner of this fight potentially faces Austin McBrew and Nissan Gibb when they will be fighting September 10th. Um, honestly, the, the, whoever gets Gibb, that's going to be a hell of a fight. If Gibb wins this fight or when the Gibb wins this fight, because I believe he will win this fight. Um, who wins this fight? Man, this is tough. Now people go, why is that tough? Because, well, even though Slim hasn't been active and he does rig his fights and he fights uh, younger people. Um, he is still pretty good from what I've heard. But I do have face time for winning this fight. I think he wins this running away. It's going to go all three rounds. Face Temper wins unanimous decision. 
Um, I believe just the experience he has and just the, the way, you know, he fought like, uh, fight in March. He fought like five months ago, basically. So I think he's ready to go. Um, if FaZe does win, I believe FaZe never wins. He wants to fight KSI next, but I feel like Gib would be the next fight. But man, it doesn't matter. If it's FaZe or Gib or FaZe KSI, that's going to be a phenomenal fight. But yeah, I think I got FaZe Temper winning this fight. It's a bit short, but I believe he wins this fight. And now the two main events. My guy KSI. KSI versus Swarms and then KSI versus Luis Pineda. For the first one, KSI versus Swarms. KSI, uh, round two TK, uh, KO. I think he's going to toy with Swarms. Uh, I'm a little nervous that JJ is going to underestimate him and just be cocky and arrogant and think, oh, easy. And not kind of take it seriously. But I think JJ does win this fight against Swarms. I mean, we haven't seen Swarms fight. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to expect. Maybe he's good. Maybe he's, maybe he's good. Maybe he's shit. I don't know. But I think JJ is going to win this fight e like convince easily. Now, he did tweet this. Why would you tweet, I'm going to shock the world, man? Why? Why? The last time somebody tweeted that, this is what happened. Trying to get night, oh, oh, oh. It's not great. It's not great. But if anybody can break this curse, it's KSI. Um, I think he wins this fight. Round two, TKO. Uh, I run to KO, um, but a point, if there's a 0.00001% chance Swarms wins, that kind of won't surprise me just because of what of JJ's ego and mentality. He thinks he's the shit, but JJ's got pressure in both of these fights. He's got the pressure in this fight the most because, I mean, both fights realistically, because if you want to fight Jake Paul, you have to beat these guys and you kind of have to beat them convincingly. You have to beat them in KOs or TKOs. Because Jake's going like, to be as tough. If he wants to fight Jake next year, that will be his toughest fight. And he's got to show that he is the guy and that he can take him down. Because right now, Jake will probably win. As a KSI fan, I hate to say it. Um, so I you got KSI winning the first fight in round two KO. All right, the second fight. KSI versus Luis Beneda. All right, he's fighting a pro boxer, KSI. He fought a pro boxer first than Jake Paul. Now, Jake Paul's fighting a pro boxer in October. Um, we'll see how that goes with Jake. Um, but I have KSI again. I think he's going to win the fight. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. I think KSI wins the fight. Um, I have him winning round three. KO. I think he has two knockouts in the fight. Round three K. I think this one will be tougher because he's a pro fighter and he's going to show his experience and like he's been in certain situations like this. Um, again, I hope he doesn't get arrogant and cocky. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that he wins this fight. I think he's going to win these two fights. And um, I know he'll win these two fights. So yeah, I'm very excited. For this fight card, August 27th, this cannot come later. I am excited. I am going to pirate the shit out of this thing because I'm not paying $11.99. I'm sorry. It's kind of a good fight. Uh, maybe I will. Maybe I probably. I might buy it as a zone up because A, it's only $11.99 and B, um, Canelo versus Triple G is coming up next month. So why not, right? Why not? So I'm very excited for this fight. Um, I hope KSI wins this fight. Wins his both fights. Um, but I don't know if he's winning the fight against Sneeko. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll tell you in the next video. Because that's my next video. KSI and Sneeko have been dissing. All right, I'll get more into it later. This has been your boy FP10, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Adios.